Now I'm holding the exhaust valve open just enough so we don't have so much pressure it breaks my wrist, but everything's functioning. We're turning this with a drill, by the way, a DeWalt drill, and it's on its heaviest duty setting. We're not even going on fast. I'm going to take it to fast speed so you can get an idea. Now I have to take some relief off the exhaust valve because it's creating so much pressure. But you can see the exhaust valve moving, opening and closing. Okay. Now mind you, I didn't let the exhaust valve close all the way. We just wanted to show the reed valve functioning and pumping air through the system and functioning. Hopefully that concludes this little demonstration and we'll have the rest for you in about uh, three weeks at A&D. Ready. Keep in mind we've overfilled the crankcase because we want to make sure we're getting plenty of lubrication before we go to A&D and let it get full barrel testing. But here is the exhaust valve opening and closing. You get the idea. Oil pumps functioning, working well, and the engine runs nice, or turns nice on a cold spin. We're going to tear it down, take a look at it, and then we'll put the gaskets and seals in. You'll notice we have not put seals in yet, or gaskets, we just have the end seals on so the oil pump functions. It's got barely enough torque to turn it over.